The next morning, in the last chapter, after Ji Jinjin managed to persuade and Juju to stay at his home, and Juju started to stay at his house from this moment on for her sons. Ah, uh, I'm so tired. My body hurts too. Last night. Mommy, let daddy sleep with us. Him, he's no good. Daddy, mommy says you're no good. I'm no good. Hang on, that sounded ambiguous. I'll let you see whether I'm really no good. Wait. Ack. Do your best, Mommy. Oh, good job. We played until midnight. Sigh, I wonder where Ji Jinchen is now. Forget it. Sleep is more important. Huh? This is... Thief! Hush! Don't shout! The kids are sleeping! He's here? I thought he'll go back to his room. Speaking of which. Mr. G sure has a good figure. Corny has no rationality left. Miss Anne, what are you doing? I'm just... Young master, the master, and madam, oh my. Mr. Butler, it's not what it looks like.
Open my eyes, I didn't do it on purpose. And Say, you have a pretty weird quirk. Do your best, Daddy. Do it. What do you mean by do your best? In what area? What have you been teaching the children? Theft. Are you laughing? Stop laughing and get off me. Sorry, it's been years since I saw Mr. Wu act that way. It's quite nostalgic. Get up. Fine. Huh? Huh? Ack, you're heavy. Wait, this sense of deja vu. Oh, oh my. my. Repeat scenes in one morning.